Welcome to today's math lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be doing pictograms and block graphs. We will need the words block, graph, information, data, number and pictogram. You will be able to review what is a pictogram and a block graph at the end of this lesson. You will also be able to solve questions by reading the graph. Now let's recap. A pictogram uses pictures to show information. Let us look at some examples. Here, the PE teacher wanted to know what kids like to do during a break. So she took a boat and the results are below. Let's use the pictures to, find the, to answer the questions. Which activity is liked the most? So here we can see that they've done gymnastics, they've gone on the slide, they play with the ball or they go on the swings. Now which one do the kids, do the most kids like to do? So here we can look at which one has the most number of kids. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2. So if you guess that most people like to do gymnastics, you are correct. Well done. Now they ask us which activity is liked the least. Now we have two activities that very little people like it. We can see them over here. One, two, and then one, two. So very little people like to go on the slides and the swings okay so though that's the least number of people like to do that activity okay let's look at the next question which two activities are liked by the same number of people so we can see which two have the same number here we have five is there any other one that has five no okay so here we have three is there any other one that has three? No. And here we have two. Is there any other activity that has two? Yes. So the slide and the swings are liked by the same number of people. Now they ask us how many kids voted in total. So now we have to count all the kids together. Because remember, when we use the word total, we have to add so we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 kids voted in total. Let's look at another example. The school is having a market day and they want to know what snack the students want. They asked the class to vote. So some said they wanted fruit. Some said they want ice cream, some said they want cookies, some said they want candy, and some said that they want cupcakes. Now they ask us which snack is like the most. So which snack do most people want? Okay, so we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here we can see that the ice cream is the snack that is liked the most because we have the most number of ice creams here. Now they ask us which snack is liked the least? Now which one do we have a small number of people liking? If you've guessed candy, well done, you are doing great. Now they're asking us, they really want us to think. They're asking us how many more people like cupcakes than candy. So now we can count the cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five. And we can count the candy. One, two, three. Now you can use your pencil to count. We can go cross out one cupcake for every candy bag. So we have one, one here, we can put a line over there, one here and one here and one here and one here. 
Now, how many extra cupcakes are there? There are one, two extra cupcakes. So that means two more people like cupcakes than candy. Now they're asking us which number, which snack is liked by the same number of people? Which snack is liked by the same number of people? So now we can count. One, two, three, four. Is there any other snack that has four? No. Okay. Is there any other snack that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ice creams? Eight votes? No, there isn't. Okay. So let's look at the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Is there any other snack that has five votes? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, if you've guessed the cupcakes, you are correct. So the cookies and the cupcakes have are liked by the same number of people. Now, let us look at what is a block graph. Block graph uses blocks to show us information that we need. And a block graph must always have a title explaining what it shows and it must be drawn carefully to show us the information. Now this block graph shows us the favorite food of a class of children. So here we have burgers, pasta, pizza and chicken. Okay, so now we can look at the blocks and answer the question. Which food is liked the most? So which bar over here is the longest, the tallest? Is it the burgers, the pasta, the pizza or the chicken? If you've guessed the burgers, well done. Because let's count how many people like the burger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10 and we can also look over here and see where the bar ends and we will find our answer. So yes, the most, pe most people like burgers. Now which food is like the least? So which food only a small number of people like? Is it pasta? Is it pizza? Or is it chicken? Okay, it's pasta. Why? Because only two people like pasta. Now they ask us, how many more people like burgers than pizza? How many more people like burgers than pizza? So we have 10 here and we have um, 8 over here. So let's count. One, we'll cross one, 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 okay? One, 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 here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and 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 one here. So now we have two more people that like burgers than Pizza. Excellent. Let's move on. Okay. Here are some cupcake flavors. So, let us look. What, um, let us look at this, uh, bar graph. Okay. Can you think how many, uh, which cupcake flavor is like the most? Which cupcake flavor is like the most? Yes, most people like the blueberry flavor. Okay, can you think of other questions for this uh, bar chart? Okay, which uh, flavor cupcake is liked the least? Okay, let's count whether it's the carrot or the strawberry. One, two, three, four, 
five, six for the strawberry and one, two, three, four, five for the carrots. So the carrots are liked the least. Excellent. Now, can you think of questions for this pictogram? So here they've given us a pictogram showing a class's favorite sea animal. Now you can decide which pictogram, I mean which sea animal is liked the most or you can make up any question, questions for this pictogram and send it to your teacher if you'd like to. But now we have come to the end of this lesson. I hope you all enjoyed it. Assalamu alaikum.